Hello, my name is Jesse Bryan, and I'm a student in the School of Environment and Sustainability at Western Colorado University, and I'm studying environmental management with a focus on integrated public land management. I'd like to start by either informing or reminding you about a very concerning trend that has been occurring over the past half century, and that is the decline in biodiversity. Over the past 50 years, upwards of 80% of freshwater vertebrates have become extinct. So what's causing this? Most fingers point towards the human-induced change of habitat, climate, and the facilitation in the movement of invasive species. Habitat loss and degradation are some of the leading factors relating to biodiversity decline. So we need to take it upon ourselves to maintain healthy ecosystems and restore degraded land. As a fellow at Cold Harbor Institute, which is focused on sustainable and regenerative land practices, I have the opportunity to help make long-lasting, impactful decisions based on the understanding of river and wetland environments. Restoration enhances many ecosystem characteristics, and for this to occur, baseline data for Cold Harbor Ranch needs to be collected. The use of a stream restoration tool created by the Army Corps of Engineers will quantify the potential of restoration towards a pristine and natural condition. This data will also provide evidence on the effects of conservation strategies, such as the wetland easement that has been in place since Cold Harbor's commencement. And this project will not only benefit Cold Harbor. Opportunities to learn how to test water quality and understand the process of stream restoration are available to anyone that's interested through a volunteer program led by yours truly. This will provide ample opportunities for fun and exciting field work, collecting and analyzing data, and finding out, finding out what all that data means. So over the next eight months, I'm excited to find out the restoration potential for Tamichi Creek, as well as understand macro and vertebrate populations, which are a key indicator of river ecosystem health. Also, with the assistance of fellow fellow Nick Story, a digital elevation map will help visualize the creek channel, which is necessary for effective management decisions. Though this project is challenging and extensive, it is necessary to create a conclusive and educational product, which will be useful for my career in hydrology, aquatic ecology, and as an educator. I wanna thank you for your time, and I hope you have enjoyed this presentation.